channel. So if you haven't yet already figured out what this video is going to be about from the thumbnail or the title, then I'm here to briefly explain what this video is going to be about. I'm really happy to bring you this video because it's been something on my checklist to do for YouTube for the past two years and I've been really upset with myself because I haven't done it yet and I finally got myself around to doing it. This video wasn't planned, it wasn't intentional for this week, it literally just become a thing. So last week I decided to wear a different colour every single it's summer, the lawnmower is out. So I've just shut the window because I know that's gonna get a lot more louder. It's all kicking off. What was I saying? I can't remember. So it all kicked off last week on a Monday where I decided to wear a complete block colour outfit to work and I just thought it would be a good idea to continue doing this every single day for the week. I work in a hospital environment so this was really, really hard to continue doing and honestly I just didn't think that I would do it the whole way through if I'm being honest but I have so I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. I am so proud of myself for sticking to this idea because I've been wanting to do it for ages so please support this video by giving this a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video and you enjoy watching my content because that would mean a lot to me. So yeah let's find out what I got up to last Monday during my shift at work. So as you can see today, I'm wearing black. Black is gonna be the color of the day. I've had so many questions and weird looks already wearing this. I feel very gothic, very moody and miserable wearing this. But yeah, I will quickly show you my full outfit of what I'm wearing for today. Let's get into this. So this is today's outfit. As you can see, I'm wearing all black, completely all the way down to the bottom. I've got a plain black t-shirt on, black crop trousers, and then I've got my boots here at the bottom which have a little sparkle buckle on. And I've decided to go for those because I just felt like as a look all together it does look very moody and I'm trying to make this as original as I can so I've decided to kind of go for the buckle boots because it just adds a little bit more detail to this all black look. I've also got with me my black backpack and I've also got my black denim coat because it is raining outside and I don't actually have a coat that is black with a hood so it's kind of very difficult to you know maneuver about outside in between my roll to kind of keep myself dry but yeah this is the only black jacket coat kind of thing that didn't look too you know weird with this outfit so yeah I've got this as a jacket so yeah this is my outfit for the all black day very very miserable and I've had many comments on you know the way it looks I wouldn't normally wear this and as an outfit you know black is just not my color it just makes me feel and look really really out of place and odd um so yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing how the next few days go because if this is kind of like the most neutral plain basic color you can go for then the next couple of days are going to be interesting for sure because everyone can kind of wear black and get on with it but people are already noticing the fact that I'm already wearing all black so I think it's going to be even more noticeable as the week goes on. I'm not sure which colour I'm going to be wearing tomorrow, we'll see how that goes, see how I feel tomorrow morning in terms of that but yeah I'm kind of feeling maybe yellow or pink or something like that but I will let you guys know tomorrow when I see you guys again. Good morning guys and by morning I mean five o'clock in the morning. I have a very busy day ahead of me today. I'm working seven till half one and then two o'clock till seven and I also have the gym at 7.30 tonight as well so I have a very very busy day. This is going to be the last time I'm home until at least half past eight tonight, nine o'clock maybe. I just realised it's how early it was and I'm kind of shouting. I always forget where I am when I film my videos like I'm home it's five o'clock in the morning everyone's asleep so I'm gonna try and you know respect that but yeah as you can see I am just knackered today I'm gonna be wearing pink a little bit more brighter and nicer to look at than yesterday's black it is really really weird to be doing this challenge you know whilst I'm working but yeah today is pink so I'm gonna quickly do my makeup for you guys I can't really get it all in not on this shot but so for my makeup today I'm gonna be using my liquid chrome barium highlighting drops and I'm just gonna blend this all over my face just to add a nice pink shimmery glow for the day. Next up I'm going in with foundation. This is the Bonjouris City Radiance Brightening Foundation. This has SPF 30 in it and is in the shade Vanilla and I'm just going to apply this all over. For contour I'm going to be using the Collection Last Imperfection and this is in the shade Cool Deep. Oh, just cutting all sorts of shapes into my face. <laughs> it all comes together in the end. I'm going in with another collection, Last and Perfection Concealer. This one is in the shade Lemon, just to brighten up under my eyes because I am hanging. So I'm going in with the Sleek Contour Palette. Looks a little bit like this. I'm just going to take a small amount onto my cheekbone and blend that up. 
So I'm gonna go in with a blush again on this palette. It's just quick and easy for me to do. Next up, I'm taking this Lace Revolution baking powder and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face to kind of set that into place. Lace. I'm just gonna go right here just to kind of chisel in that cheekbone and chin. Got a bit of pink there. Is it too pink? Oh, I feel like it's gonna be that way and I'm gonna get another reaction to this today. So I'm gonna go in with this light pink shade. It looks dark on there anyway, so I'm gonna go with one of these two here. Ta -da. I've got a bit of shimmer to spare. Go in with an eyeliner quickly. Going in with my eyebrows, I'm taking the Soap and Glory Archery Brow and Tint Pen, which used to be my ultimate fave. It is, again, always seems to be going back to it. So I've got two pink mascaras to kind of go with the theme. I've got a pink lip tint, which is more like a bright pinky kind of thing. So yeah, that is my makeup for today. I will fast forward the first half of the day and I will show you guys my outfit a little bit later on. Obviously I have to wear like scrubs to work so I can't wear pink to work. So yeah, this has been my makeup. Now it's time to fast forward onto my outfit. So we fast forward a little bit and we are now into the afternoon. I have transformed myself into my pink outfit for the day. And honestly, this mood has definitely improved. A lot of my colleagues, they have definitely felt a big difference from yesterday wearing the all black look compared to today with the whole pink look. This challenge has definitely been motivating. Even though it's only been two days long so far, I've had to carry two big bags with me every day to work to get changed into because I am going to the gym afterwards and I have worked already in the morning, as you guys already know. As you can see, my makeup has kind of stayed on throughout the whole 12 hours so far, which is really, really good. I'll quickly show you my full outfit you're going to be very amazed by the shoes that I'm wearing because they are a statement to say the least like they are very very bold okay so this is my pink outfit for the day obviously again I have to try and keep this as professional as I can due to the environment that I'm working in but I've got my pink cropped culottes here I've got a basic t-shirt which I picked up from H&M as I said the shoes are quite a statement so I'll quickly show you those so these are my shoes for today. I've got a very basic, natural pink kind of vibe going on until the shoes appear, which I thought was a nice little touch to add. Today, my colleagues approved of this outfit. Yesterday, it was kind of very, you know, they didn't like it. I feel a bit unfashionable at the moment. I don't wanna wear my kind of out of work clothes to work because I feel like then I won't have like a different identity. I would always look the same. So when it comes to like picking outfits and especially for like things like this, I'm trying to keep it as disguised as possible. My plaits, as you can see, are just horrific. They don't look great at all, I'm not gonna lie. My hair is a mess. But yeah, this is my whole outfit. I'm not quite sure what color I'm gonna go with tomorrow, but this is day two complete. Hi guys and welcome to day three of wearing a different colour every single day to work. Today, as you can see, I'm wearing an orange kind of colour. I was going to opt for yellow today, but I didn't really have much kind of yellowness in my wardrobe. So I decided to go for this kind of burnt orangey kind of colour because I had a lot of that. So for my top, as you can see, I've got my Good Things Take Time sweatshirt on. I've got my orange cropped culotte trousers on again because they are just perfect for work. Super comfortable and just kind of, you know easy to deal with um, and then over here we've got my orange bag and then my orange jumper my orange glasses case today I'm gonna be wearing my oh, if I can open it brownie beige kind of driving glasses because they just kind of fit the whole mood of what I'm wearing today as you can see from my eyes I've gone for a little bit of a yellow eyeshadow and I quite like it it's very nice I don't have yellow orangey shoes on because I don't have anything like that so for my shoes I do have just a basic pair of you know converse trainers type of thing but yeah this is my outfit for today i will catch up with you a little bit later on during the day while i'm at work and let you guys know what the responses were from my colleagues so i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens today and what the feedback is so i will see you guys very very soon so this is my outfit for today as you can see to be honest with you this is my favorite color and outfit out of the whole week even though it's quite moody and dark outside i do stand out quite a lot but yeah i love it so yeah happy days 
Hi guys and welcome to day four of wearing a different colour every day to work. It is my last official day at my work. I only work four days a week on my permanent contract. So I will be doing a final day on Sunday. So this is the official last day of me wearing a full solid block colour to work. And I have learnt a lot by this experience so far. I have learnt that I am a lot more confident than I thought I was because rocking up every single day to work wearing a whole different outfit, a different look and the eye makeup itself as well is a whole dramatic kind of effect to add on to this whole experience it's just been really eye-opening to me about how confident I actually can be and how motivated I can be to do these types of things as you guys know if you do work here full-time jobs and stuff like that you know how difficult it is to kind of make up a balance with your hobbies and your working life and your home life and everything like that so to me it's been really interesting to know that if I do really push myself and motivate myself I can go ahead and do an extra mile I can do a lot more things with my time it's just that motivation to do it and to do these things that I really struggle with and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this will have struggled with this as well but it's been overall a really good experience and I'm happy I've done it I'm happy that I've just you know gone ahead and done it because I've been wanting to do this for such a long time now and I'm so happy that I've kind of just you know decided to go for it so as you can see for today I am wearing green I've got green eyeshadow on as you can see they're very dramatic you can't really miss it these bold makeup looks for work is not ideal because you have to wear this makeup all day long so for my clothes I've got a green bar dot top which I got from Primark for five pounds I've got green nail varnish on which is you know something else I didn't even know I had green nail varnish but here we are um, I've got my green Venice jumper which I bought in Venice um, and then I've got my green cropped culotte trousers again and then for my bag I've got my green palm leaf bag which I picked up from where did I get that from I think it was tigers no it can't be tigers not only am I wearing this to work I'm wearing this like all day I have to go and see people within the working environment I have to walk to work I park my car walk to work which you don't actually see on camera during the vlogs and stuff but yeah it's really embarrassing and you know it is quite shameful so yeah I will catch up with you guys at work later on and let you guys know what the reviews are from all of my colleagues so I'll see you guys there hi guys so unfortunately I was supposed to meet you guys at work and do what I've been doing over the past couple of days you know showing you what my outfit looked like and just reviewing all the comments and feedback that I've had through colleagues and through weird random looks that I've had but unfortunately due to work I was really really busy and I didn't have the time to do that afterwards I did stay on a bit more later today so unfortunately I didn't have the time to actually record a little bit of you know my outfit at work and do it there so here I am after work it is nine o'clock at night I've just had some food so if I do have anything left over in these gnashes and that's why my makeup is all over the place as well I've got this huge spot on my nose here very very weird I don't know, really know what's going on with my face right now but I cannot wait to take my makeup off like this eye makeup is just so heavy but yeah cutting back to why I'm here filming this my colleagues were dancing around in the corridor I don't know what was going on today during the shift but they were so so happy I'll insert a clip here of me doing a little boomerang during work so you can actually see that I wore this to work they didn't want to get in the video which is fair enough I understand that I don't know what it was the green seemed to you know set everyone off make everyone really happy which is very strange because green isn't normally you know kind of connected to that kind of emotion it's kind of like envy and jealousy so it's really weird that it kind of added that effect to my colleagues at work and so that was really interesting <laughs> so yeah as I mentioned this morning this outfit is actually going to be my last outfit that I'm going to be wearing to work as I only work four days in my permanent job I do Monday to Thursday and the work I'm doing this weekend I can't wear like any clothes I want I have to wear a proper uniform so unfortunately I cannot continue with this challenge over the next couple of days however on Sunday to make up for it, to make it like five days, I am gonna be using a different color, maybe red, maybe blue, I'm not sure what we've decided yet, or even white, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do, or what color I'm gonna choose. But yeah, Sunday, I'm gonna be doing all my food shopping, visiting my mum or whatever happens, and like kind of doing all my errands wearing that color. So I also add that in on Sunday, which will be the last day of my coloring. So yeah, it will be a couple of days until I see you guys again and update this video. So I'll see you guys on Sunday. 
Good morning guys, so today is the last day of the solid block colour challenge for the outfit. As you can see, I've gone for the red look today. This by far is my favourite out of all of the outfits because I'm not going to work so I can kind of wear whatever I like and however I like because there's no kind of, you know, office kind of attire to kind of go with it. So yeah, today I am wearing a red eyeshadow look again, as I've been doing all week, wearing the same colour for my eyelids. I've opted for a red lipstick, which I don't normally go for, but because it's a weekend and I don't have work today, I'm allowed. I've got my red basketball top, which I picked up from H&M. I've got a red backpack on, which you can kind of see there. This top is actually cropped and I absolutely love this one. It's my favourite. And then for my trousers, I've got some red and white popper kind of trouser going on for my shoes i've just got my you know converse type of trainers which i've been wearing all week to work only because i don't actually have any red shoes my sister borrowed mine and she's working at the moment so i can't go and get them but yeah this is my all red look and we are going to be going off shopping to aldi very soon also just to be a little bit ott i've also got red shopping bags as well because you know why not we're going to do this properly today got a yellow one here because i've only actually got two red ones so you know ignore that you've never seen that one Hi guys, so I am now back from shopping at Aldi wearing my all red. Yeah, it was quite an experience. It wasn't too embarrassing. I didn't feel like there was like a huge reaction or anything or any comments being made or anything like that. I'm currently at my mum's house. She's getting her house sort of renovated and her electric sorted out and then the kitchen being done. So ignore any mess you may see in the background there. But yeah, I'm going off to the gym soon. So before I do that, I just thought I'd just add my review on today's outfit and everything because I will be getting changed. I'm going to the gym and then I won't be wearing this afterwards because I'm just gonna have a nice relaxing evening with a a roast dinner and a film because I have been working around 57 hours this week and I can't actually believe I've been filming this video even though I've been working going to the gym it's been really really busy but it's been good that I've been able to motivate myself like this so yeah I've really enjoyed it I love the red which I was very surprised by because I didn't think I would like it as much as the rest of them but I do really like it I've gone for like a white eyeliner here if you can see this one is from collection 2000 it's not the greatest but I just thought instead of going for a black eyeliner I go for a white one to kind of you know make this look less bold if you know what I mean because red is such a bold color I just a little bit of white on the eyes there just kind of lightened up my face a little bit but yeah so this is the last day the last outfit I hope you guys have enjoyed you know <laughs> and that's it really so I will see you guys when I catch up with you and do like my intro outro kind of thing so yes yeah, see you then so that was me wearing a solid block color every single day to work Trust me, it was the most fun, strange, embarrassing, creative week that I've had in work. It was manic, I had 12 hour shifts, I had gym three times last week as well. So to be able to actually complete this whole idea during such a busy week in my life was just amazing and I'm so proud of myself for actually doing it. This wasn't like the main objective of this video really to like feel this way about it. I just generally wanted to see if I could do it but I feel really proud of myself for being able to motivate myself to this level I know like there's a lot more amazing things I could be doing out there but to me this was such a big deal for me to finish and I'm so happy that I've done it a lot of the outfits were very hard to kind of coordinate because I have been kind of rushing around picking these outfits out the worst outfit I've got to say out of all of this was the pink one it was just very bland for a pink colour let's be honest I could have gone for like a lot more of a bolder brighter pink but I had to go with what was comfortable, what was wearable for work in terms of like uniform policies. And yeah, it's just one thing to tick off my checklist of the YouTube ideas that I have. I have so many creative, big and loud videos to do, but I just don't get the time to do it. I don't get that focus and motivation to do it, which is really disappointed because I really wish I could just smash out all these videos because I know I would love to do that. But yeah, it is what it is. I will leave all of the outfit details from this week down in the description box below so you guys can check that out. If you have any video ideas related to this or if you want to see anything more from me, please make sure you give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment any video ideas you want to see from me in the future down below. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!